in the world, and that is our yes. next guest who has written a uh, new book, and I had it right here. Um, I had the sheet right here. Priscilla, what would you do with the sheet? It's right here. Um, Clayton Lesser. Clayton, you are a local author and therapist. You're also the uh, founder of the Quest Project Adolescent Outpatient Program. That is a mouthful. Clayton Lesser, welcome to Big 550 KTRS. Thank you for having me. The book is called Save Our Sons, A Parent's Guide to Preparing Boys for Success. What was the point of the book? Tell us about this. Well, it comes off my program, the Quest Project, uh, which I developed uh, about year 2000. Um, it's an adolescent boys program, a modern day rite of passage to help uh, adolescent boys through the turbulent teens. It seems like young men in general, and I'm talking generality here, growing up are kind of lost. They're flailing, and the women are uh, outproducing them in every way, shape, or form. What's going on? Well, our boys are in trouble, and they need our help. Uh, boys need a mom and a dad, but often the dad is either emotionally or physically absent in the home. Right. So boys will often uh, bond together and act out in unhealthy ways. Uh, they're more likely to get D's and F's. Uh, in school, behavior referrals, and drop out of school. And if I take that a step further, 75% of all crime is committed by men who are fatherless as children. Say that again. 75%? 75% of all crime are committed by men who are fatherless as children. And this has got to change. Wow. Mm. And so tell us about the program. Well, the Quest Project uh, is a 10-week modern-day rite of passage, okay, and it uh, provides teachings and research uh, teachings, uh, lessons that adolescent boys need in their uh, adolescent years uh, that typically a uh, mature father would you know, present to them. So what's included in the Quest Project is a safe container, a mentor, right. a teacher, mm -hmm. uh, goal setting, what's in the way of their goals, um, anger management, conflict resolution, uh, what their gift is, and then uh, a life mission, and then uh, a big graduation at the end. So this is a 10-week program for young men, is that right? Adolescent boys, 11 plus. 11 plus. Do they go alone? Do they go with their mother? Do they go with their father? If their yeah. father's there, how does that work? Well, they register, and it's uh, five to six boys at a time. Um, that group stays together for 10 weeks, one and a half hours per week, same mm -hmm. time, same channel. Right. Hmm. And you kind of did this because um, you kind of had a bad childhood. Yeah, so, in my so my father, as a boy, my father was abusive, uh, absent, alcoholic, uh, very violent in the home. So I found ways to get through this, and once I turned my life around, I uh, went back to school, got the education, did the research, and developed the uh, Quest Project. And I've had 2,000 boys since 2000 graduate. And and what are the results? Have they stayed out of trouble? Have they have you done any tracking on these kids? I have. I do a before and after evaluation. We call it the best. And so I do before and after evaluations. I keep track, and you can imagine I have. Uh, uh, texts or emails all the time from mm -hmm. past participants. Yeah. Are you from St. Louis here originally? I am from St. Louis. And yes. so this program's going on here in St. Louis? Yes, it is. Only in St. Louis? Well, no. If you go to the website, we can we can uh, do it in other cities. I do an intensive weekend, so we've got some uh, feedback from other states right now that want us to come in and do that. Right. Do sometimes teachers refer um, the students or, or uh, I, on family members? Uh, yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I do all that, yes. Yeah. Um, how much does it cost? Uh, well, uh, most insurance, I'm, I'm a provider, an LPC license, so most of the, I'm a provider for most ins insurance companies, and uh, insurance takes care of a lot of that. Really? Yeah. Oh. Huh. So the book is called Saving Our Sons, What? and the book is sort of a condensed version of your, your program, in a sense? Yeah, I wanted to get immediate help and hope out there, so we uh, put the book together. Um, it's to, you know, get immediate help and hope, and then um, it's an overview of the uh, Quest Project. Yeah. Uh, raised by a single mother, raised by all women in, in my world. Yeah. Um, there are single mothers out there who worry every day. Yep. My son, daughter, doesn't have a father figure. Yeah. What do you tell them? Get a mentor. Uh, the boys need a mentor. They need somebody, a healthy male example. All right, get uh, involved with the community, the neighborhood, so boys can see doing good things and get blessed. Uh, get a safe place for them to do their work, uh, you know, a place where they can uh, deal with their shame and anger. Um, they have to have a sense of adventure, change, and uh, importance in life. Mm -hmm. So that can, and, and then uh, uh, a ritual to, uh, to validate that transition. Uh, talk for a moment. You said something really interesting, um, mm -hmm. and that is you said get over their shame. Why yeah. should an 11-year-old boy have a shame if their father's long gone? 
Why should they have shame? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, why do well, why, why do they have yeah. shame? Well, they're they're right. They're innately trying to learn. They're learning how to be a man. Mm-hmm. At eleven, the the switch happens right mm-hmm. then. In its absence, they feel less than. So that's a shameful feeling for them. So because something somebody else did to them, they take on the burden. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which is really an interesting take on the whole thing, right? Well, I mean, the kid's yeah. p- yeah. completely innocent. Yes, he is. Yes. But, yes. Always. B- but he somehow feels guilty. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. you see a lot of And he acts ang- out. And yeah. then he acts out the anger. That's why right. the big, I see all the violence and, you know, holes in the wall. As I say, you see a lot of a range of emotions, I'm yep. sure, when the kids come in. Yes. The book is called Saving Our Sons, A Parent's Guide to Preparing Boys for Success. Do you have, do you see boys who come from a two-parent household too? I do. I do. Well, and, uh, like I said, absent fathers, it could be physically or emotionally. Mm-hmm. And We're, are these from every socioeconomic background? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so it it knows no bank account. Right, right on. How do the how do the men who are still at home deal with you teaching their boys how to be men? That's another right. dynamic. So in that's interesting. So so a lot of times the mom will say, "You need to get in there and talk to him," you know, and uh, it's a little intimidating at times. But I want to teach him. If father's available, come in, please. Mm-hmm. And I so you do- help teach the fathers too about the things because they're probably going through a lot of the things the kids are going through. Because maybe well, they grew up without a father. Well, it's systemic, right? Since the industrial revolution, dads have left home, right? And so in 2000, I had mostly moms signing up their sons. And, and over the years, now I got a 50-50 blend. And dads want to know how to, to, how to uh, father their sons now. Mm-hmm. Wow, really interesting. Uh, the book, bookstores everywhere, online, is there a website? There's a website, ClaytonLesser.com, and it's on Amazon.com. ClaytonLesser.com, Ph.D. The book is called Saving Our Sons. And if people want to find out more about the Quest Project, w- where do they go? They can look at the website, uh, ClaytonLesser.com, or call me at... Uh, on the, on the phone, on the book there. On the phone. Yeah. Clayton Lesser, L-E-S-S-O-R, Clayton Lesser. The book is called Saving Our Sons. Really interesting stuff. Thanks yeah. for coming in. Thank you. Uh, 812, Big 550, K.